Einen schönen guten Abend, herzlich willkommen zur Pressekonferenz der Schwenninger Waldwings nach der Partie gegen die Adler Mannheim. Ich darf beide Trainer begrüßen, zu meiner rechten Jeff Ward von den Adlern und zu meiner linken unser Coach Steve Chambers. Zuerst, wie Sie es gewohnt sind, die anderen Ergebnisse am Nachmittag. Hamburg Freezers, Eisbären Berlin 1 zu 4, Augsburger Panther, Isel und Roosters 7 zu 4. Die DEG gewinnt gegen die Straubing Tigers mit 3 zu 2 nach Penaltyschießen. Der RC Red Bull München gewinnt gegen Krefeld Pinguin mit 3 zu 4. Die Grizzly Adams Wolfsburg unterliegen auf eigenem Eis dem ERC Ingolstadt mit 2 zu 4. Und bei der Abendpartie Thomas Habo Eis Tigers gegen die Kölner Haie steht nach dem zweiten Drittel derzeit 3 zu 2. Kommen wir zur heutigen Partie. Jeff Ward, congratulations to the win tonight and your comment on the game. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, it was a crazy start, uh, no question about it. Um, I think for both teams. Um, but I, I, I like the way we were able to settle into our game after uh, the first 10 minutes. Um, obviously our power play got some uh, some good momentum for us tonight with a couple of key goals and then uh, really I think obviously the uh, the depth of our lineup became a factor with Schwenigan being uh, shorthanded some players and losing a couple of guys so um, I thought that played uh, played into the favor of the game as well for us as, as the game went on but uh, Uh, for us now, we just got to look forward to it. But as I said, I, I think uh, we're pretty satisfied that we're able to recover after the first 10 minutes and, and play a pretty solid hockey game after that. Ja, ich darf es ganz kurz zusammenfassen. Ihr sagt, es war natürlich ein verrückter Beginn für beide Teams. Äh, unser Powerplay hat dann im Endeffekt oder hat gut funktioniert. Unsere Tiefe hat sich dann im Verlauf des Spiels so ein bisschen bezahlt gemacht. Aber es war einfach ein verrücktes Spiel. Schwenning hat einige Spieler verloren. Dave, your comment tonight, please. Oh yeah, we uh, congratulations to Jeff uh, on your win. Uh, you have an excellent team and obviously deserve to be in first place. You're doing a really good job there. Uh, we started with nine forwards and then we lost two in the first period. Uh, we uh, we played on Friday night with only three forward lines and then we played, started this game with three forward lines and then uh, I don't know if our guys got into them but anyway. Uh, we ended up with two five minute penalties, two guys thrown out, and that uh, obviously really hurt us. We're already down. We only have nine forwards now. We're down to seven, so it wasn't smart. And uh, you know, to give Mannheim a good game, obviously we were concerned. We only had three lines, and then we end up with seven forwards and end up with three defensemen playing forward. So uh, not happy about that at all. Uh, obviously, to play against Mannheim, uh, we got to be a full strength, and uh, we have some injuries now too. So. Uh, Matsumoto played, but was uh, he was uh, hurting. So uh, I, I give the guys credit that they ended up still playing. And as I say, we had three defensemen playing forward. So it wasn't uh, the game plan like we had it, but uh, we didn't kill the penalties. Uh, we made some mistakes with their, their top guy, the top top of the blue line there, and uh, so that we can we can blame ourselves for that for sure. But uh, obviously, we, to play Mannheim, we have to have a full. Full lineup to to give them a, a full game, and I think we we can we can do that at home when we're at full strength. So uh, you know now we got to see if our players are if what happens to our guys that got the five minute penalty. So anyway, that's enough for me. Ja, er sagt Glückwunsch an Mannheim. Sie haben ein exzellentes Team, das nicht ganz zu Unrecht hier auf Platz 1 steht. Ähm, man hat mit neun Stürmern, äh, ist man gestartet, dann hat man gleich in der Anfangszeit, hat man dann zwei verloren. Das war natürlich nicht sehr clever, sagt er. Ähm, wir hatten eh nur drei Reihen in, letzten, in letzter Zeit und jetzt äh, hat man dann auch noch ein paar verloren, ein paar Verletzte auf Seiten der Schwenninger Waldwings. Gibt es Fragen heute Abend? Herr Wittmann. Uh, question on uh, both coaches: How uh, did you see that uh, two five minutes against Dana and Rome? Oh. Well, I'm not. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm usually going to save my comments till after I watch the videotape. So, you know, things happen quickly. Uh, the couple of the hits that happened were actually down in the corner uh, from our bench, and with the way the glass is there, you can't see it. So, I really. Uh, Well, the one on uh, the one on Royal was in the corner. The second one was down in that area. So I'll, I'm not going to make a comment on them until I see the videotape on it. So, Dave, your comment? Well, you know, coaches can't really make comments about that. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with Jeff. I have to look at the video and just see uh, how it was. That's the referee called it, and uh, we can't really comment on referees. We might like to comment on referees sometimes, but we can't. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, I, I agree with Jeff, though. I'd like to see it, uh, see the video of it before you're making a comment on it. But, uh, you know, as I say, we, we can't really comment about the referee's decisions.
It's the way it is in professional hockey. Ja, ganz kurz zusammengefasst, ich glaube, bei den Trainer sind sie sehr einig, sie wollen erstmal das Videostudium abwarten, bevor sie dann einen Kommentar abgeben und so machen wir ganz gut, wenn man dann weniger sagt darüber. Weitere Fragen? Vielleicht ganz kurz das Mikrofon nach vorne. Ja, bitte mal. Danke. Mr. Chambers, you said you took uh, Matsumoto out because he was... Uh, no, no, he hurt. played. He played. He played. He, the he, the end of the second, he went on there, yeah, but, uh, you know, he's, he, he played hurt. So, I mean, that's the spirit of our guys. You know, he, he played hurt for I sure. Didn't, I didn't understand. But, uh, yeah, no, but uh, he, he's probably, hopefully he'll be okay. There's nothing broken or whatever, but uh, he was definitely hurting, but he, you have to give him credit. He, he toughed it out. I didn't think he was going to play the third period at all, but he said, no, uh, I'll, give it, I'll give it a go. But the time when Nick Palmieri gets a penalty, you only played, uh, you only have uh, six uh, strikers, I think. Yeah. Did you ever have uh, in the end of the game at the where That coach, was a weird six, game. I, you know, I've been around a long time and I, I never had so few guys left looking down the bench. Who's left? Have we got anybody left? Do we have nobody forwards? How many, how many defensemen want to play forward? So that's unfortunately the way it ended up. But uh, yeah, and, uh, and I would say Nick shouldn't talk to the, the referee whether he. Uh, no comment. Anyway. But yeah, that's. Uh, we ended up with, I think, just six forwards. Not even that at the end. So. But that's not something good. For sure not. Weitere Fragen heute Abend? Da scheint mir nicht der Fall zu sein. Da darf ich Jeff Ward und seine Mannschaft einen guten Nachhauseweg wünschen nach Mannheim. Viel Glück für die weitere Saison. Wir sehen uns dann wieder am Freitag, kommender Freitag zum Heimspiel gegen Wolfsburg. Beginn ist dann um 19.30 Uhr. Dankeschön. Schönen Abend zusammen.